the U.S. Army awarded the manufacturer of Abrams tanks a contract this month to begin the preliminary design of its new tank variant expected to be lighter and feature high-tech capabilities so it's more survivable in battle. The service's head of combat vehicle modernization told Defense News. The schedule for the M1E3's preliminary design and what follows is under review within the Army's acquisition branch, Norman said. In the meantime, the Army and GDLs will begin working through what the service wants in and can achieve with the new Abrams variant. A firmer timeline will likely take shape by the fall, he added. The Army last fall decided to scrap its upgrade plans for the Abrams tank and instead pursue a more significant modernization effort to increase the tank's mobility and survivability on the battlefield. As part of the decision, the Army ended its M1A2 System Enhancement Package version 4 program. The M1E3 from a requirement standpoint is an engineering change proposal, Norman said, but with a different design approach to meeting existing requirements. It's going to be a very differently configured Abrams than what we currently have. Over the next 18 months, Norman said the Army will work through a series of technology maturation efforts to include autoloader capabilities, aids to enable a crew to operate fully buttoned up inside the tank, alternate powertrains, and active protection systems. The contract allows the Army to work closely with General Dynamics Land Systems on shaping requirements for the new M1E3 Abrams tank. The hope, according to Brig, Jen Geoffrey Norman is to be able to bring the new variant into the force at a similar timeline to the M30 mechanized infantry combat vehicle, which is under development. Those are the types of things where different systems are being competed to pick the best of the breed that then will be integrated into an engineering change proposal prototype, he added. The Army plans to bring the weight of Abrams under 60 tons. The current variant is roughly 73 tons, according to Norman. That might be a little aggressive, but we're pretty ambitious, he said of the goal. In order to do that, we anticipate having to change the crew configuration, potentially looking at opportunities to go to a remote turret or an optionally manned turret in order to save the space under armor. Powertrains that include hybrid capability will also undergo examination in order to achieve both reduced fuel consumption as well as the desirable silent watch and silent drive capabilities to better avoid detection. The powertrain must still be able to reach high dash speeds, Norman noted. The M1E3 will also have an integrated active protection system that's part and parcel to the vehicle survivability, profile and design. That's one of the things that we know absolutely will be integral to the program, Norman said.